All right, so I wanted to talk about tonight the uh, the setup of the final project, the packet tracer product, and how to set the routers up. Um, so you'll notice that there are three different networks. So we have this network over here, this network over here, and we set up one more network between the routers. Okay, so we're going to call this the 192.168.1 network, the 192.168.2 network on this side, and this is just the 10 network in the middle. Um, you'll notice I have the I have a server on this side, a PC on this side, a server on this side, a PC on this side, and essentially we're trying to get from this PC across the routers over into this, which is our one DNS server, okay? Um, and we're trying to come over here and we're trying to get onto our web server and bring back uh, the the website back across the router. So let's take a look at our routers. There's some very simple configurations that we want to do. Before we jump into the router configuration, you want to see which side you connected the, the connection to. And if, if you highlight over one of these um, little green dots, it, it will release itself. And you'll notice that when I connect in, the only one I can connect into is this 0, .0 or 00. So the 00 one is on this side. And on this side is the 01 Ethernet switch. Okay, so that's important. So when you log, when you go into your switch, or sorry, into your router, um, you'll see your interface, your 00, and that's going to be over here on the 192.168.1 side, and the 01 is in the 10 side. So let's, so right here is the, uh, notice it says gig 00. On this side, it says gig 01. So this Ethernet line on this side is going into the 00, and on this side is going into the 01. So over here, this is our 1.0 network. Our default gateway is where it leaves the network, and it's going to leave the network here. So we want to give this 00 the IP address of 192.168.1.1. Okay. Now when we're inside our middle, our middle network, the zero, the 10 zero network, we want this, this one here, the zero zero and this one here, or sorry, the zero one and the zero zero. We want both of those to be 10.0.0.1 and 10.0.0.2. Okay. So let's go into here and let's look. So the first thing we're going to configure, there's only three things to configure and you could do it all in the CLI, the command line interface, uh, by using a bunch of commands. However, an easy way to do it is just go right into the config, click on the eth 0 slash 0 and type in 192.168.1.1, hit tab, and it'll auto fill in the subnet mask of 255, 255, 255, 0. And then the last thing you need to do is just turn on the port status. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing for 0 slash 1. We'll turn on the port status. We'll call it 10.0.0.0.1, .0 .0 .0 255. We'll, because this is a class A network, the subnet mask is just 255.0.0.0. .0 At that point, you turn that one on, you close it, and you do the same thing on the other side. This one here is also 00. This one on this side is 01. On the 01 side, we're going to use 2.1 because it's the default gateway coming out of this network this direction. Okay, so this 01 is going to be 2.1, and over here is going to be 0 0.2. So you click in, and the 00, which is the inside one, is 10.0.0.2. Turn it on, and make sure it's 255.0.0.0. .0 for the Ethernet part, for Ethernet 01, turn it on. 192.168.2.1, that's the default gateway of this side of the network. And then the default subnet mask is 255, 255, 255. Okay, so that is how you will configure the two routers. Once you have them all turned on and you have them configured the four, the, the four different ports, this port, this port, this port, and this port configured correctly, you'll get green all the way through. Now, one thing you'll need to look for is when you configure your server and you go into the configuration and you're in your actual fast ethernet, Remember, on the interface, you want to set it to static. Remember, the servers always get the second IP address because if you look into the DHCP, 
notice that you start your IP address with three. So the server you want to be static. Okay, so we go back, we look at it. The gateway is 1.1. That's where it leaves the network. So 1.1. The DNS server is itself 1.2. It's this server. But if you go into the actual Ethernet settings, the, the IP address, it's 1.2 with a default subnet mask of 255, 255, 255. If you don't set this port here, this static gateway and DNS server, it's not going to work. You have to set the settings and the fast Ethernet settings here and here, or it will not work. And you have to do that for both sides. On this server, because it's static, you'll need to set the probably the easiest way to do it is just what I just did. So instead of clicking on the server and going into config, if you just go to desktop and click IP config, and since it's going to be static, you'll set all four right there and that's probably the easiest way to do it okay one last thing you need to do to make it work once you get that the the static IP set up on the server you come into your PCs we've done this before you go into your IP config and you just go from static back to DHCP and it should be able to grab the DHCP um, IP address just fine okay just like that DHCP request successful and it works Okay. In the routers, you need to set the route. And in the routers, we're going to use RIP. So if you go into the first router, notice this router is on this side of the network. This side of the network has two routes or has two networks, the 1.0 and the 10. So if I go into routing and click on RIP, I'm just going to add, in fact, you'll just add 10.0.0.1. And when you click add, it will strip out the dot one and give it a network address. And network address just ends in zero. And the same thing with the 192.168.1.1. You can add that also, and it'll strip out the one on the end and just add the network address. Calling this the known address of 192.168.1.0. And this side on this side, the known address. So basically it's saying, tell me all the known networks that are hooked up to this router. They just go right here. So we'll, we'll add both of those, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Go into RIP, and on this side, we're going to add the 2.0 from this side. So we just type it in, click Add. And then on the inside here, we're going to add the 10.0.0.0, and just add that in right here. So it's the two known networks that are touching this router are the 10.0.0.0 and the 192.168.2.0. So once you have RIP set up and you have these two set up and turned on, yeah, everything should work just fine. So that's pretty much it. That's how that's the easiest way to set up these routers. Um, and then, of course, you'll have a lot more computers and stuff set up over here like we've covered in the last couple videos.